Hey guys, this is Rishi Chalani from The Dark Knot and today I would like to talk to you about how to match your tie colors to your suits and shirts. Now, when we're looking to dress Depper and we're upping our game in our sartorial journey, one of the critical things we have to pay attention to is how to mix and match our ties. And what really throws a lot of gentlemen off is how to match tie colors to their suits and shirts. So you'll see a lot of guys go with standard combinations, which we'll discuss a bit later, such as, you know, navy ties with a light blue shirt, or maybe a red tie or a burgundy tie with a light pink shirt, but they don't really know how to mix and match, you know, their tie colors to their suits and shirts, and there's that resulting lack of confidence. So what I would like to discuss today is how to match your tie colors to your suits and shirts, and five different color schemes we can look at when you're starting to develop your sense of confidence with regard to color. Now, one of the first things we have to look at when we're trying to understand color theory is the use of a color wheel. Now, a color wheel helps us to really understand the basic properties of color and how these colors work with each other. Ultimately, while we're looking to progress our sense of style uh, with respect to tie colors being matched to our suits and shirts, the ultimate goal is to be able to match warm colors against cool colors. So how does this relate to a color wheel? Well, a color wheel is basically divided into two broad camps. You have your cool colors, which are purple, blues and greens, which basically represent calmness. And then you have vibrant colors, which are red, orange and yellow. And as you evolve, we'll get into more complex color schemes where ultimately what you're doing is pairing a warm color, such as red or orange, against a cooler color such as blue or green. And that's going to give you the strongest uh, pop of color that you can see out there. So the first color scheme I'd like to discuss today is a monochromatic color scheme. So as you're just getting started out, a monochromatic color scheme is a great way to start because it doesn't require much experimentation with color. So if you see the color wheel above, what you will see is that you take one spoke of your color wheel, so say a blue, and you can mix it with a shade which is a darker variant of that color to create a monochromatic color scheme. So why a darker color and not a lighter color? Well, typically the best way to dress up is to go with a lighter colored shirt. Always start with a more muted option, whether it's your shirt color or pattern, and then work your way up progressively to a darker colored tie, or as we'll see in another video, a more complex tie pattern. So you can take a light blue shirt as your canvas, and you can go with a darker variant of that color, which is a navy or a dark blue tie, and that creates a monochromatic color scheme, which is very elegant, and it's not you know, extremely complicated or fancy, but it is going to lend that elegant dapper look that you're looking for. Now, another monochromatic color scheme you can go for is a light pink shirt and a burgundy tie. Again, burgundy is a shade of pink, so it's a darker variant of pink, and that burgundy color will pop out perfectly against that light pink shirt. Now, the second color scheme I would like to talk about is an adjacent or a similar color scheme. Now with the adjacent or similar color scheme, you're basically choosing colors that are close to each other on the color wheel, typically on the same half of the color wheel. Now you could do this with warmer colors, but it is a little bold and it's extremely vibrant. It takes a certain sense of confidence with your style to pull those off. So we'll start with examples of uh, cooler colors with a similar color scheme. So examples would be a light blue shirt. Again, you want to go with a light colored shirt to start with a dark green tie or a purple tie. Now it's called a similar color scheme because these colors are close to each other or adjacent to each other on the color wheel and it creates a sense of familiarity. So it is very soothing to the eye to see colors that are close to each other on the color wheel. It doesn't create a lot of pop, but it's definitely your next step up from a monochromatic scheme and it will definitely have people turning heads when they see you dress up. Now the third color scheme I'd like to talk about, and this falls basically somewhere in between the bolder schemes and the ones I just discussed, is a neutral color scheme. Now the neutral color scheme, your shirt that you're gonna wear is gonna be like a solid white or a light gray. So these are neutral colors, so they can work with pretty much any tie color you put out there. So you could wear a green tie with those shirts, you could wear a pink tie, a burgundy tie, an orange tie, a blue tie, pretty much anything you wanna wear. It's a very easy color scheme to pull off, obviously, because your canvas or your shirt is basically a plain white or gray, so virtually any tie color is going to go with it. Now the fourth color scheme, and where things start to get interesting, is a triadic color scheme. Now with a triadic color scheme, what you're doing is you're basically choosing colors that form a triangle within the color wheel. So one example would be blue, red, and yellow. Now what you are doing here, if you notice when I was talking earlier about the color wheel, is that you are mixing warm colors with cool colors. So an example here 
would be a light blue shirt with a brighter pink tie, which is a variation of red. You could do a light blue shirt with a burgundy tie, which is a darker variation of pink. You could do a light blue shirt with a mustard yellow tie, which is a darker variation of yellow. Now with the Trident color scheme, you're creating what we call a sense of harmony because you have a warm color pitted against a cooler color. And so you really create that sense of contrast that you're after. And now you know you're starting to really experiment with color and up your confidence in your style game. Which leads us to our fifth color scheme, which is a complementary color scheme. Now out of all the color schemes we've discussed, a complementary color scheme is the most progressive color scheme. What you are doing here is you are taking two colors that are diametrically opposed to each other on the color wheel. So an example of this would be an orange tie against a blue shirt. Now this is a very bold combination. I wouldn't necessarily suggest wearing this to work, but if you're at a cocktail party or a wedding reception and you really want to make an impression, opt for an orange tie against a blue shirt and you are bound to stand out. So with that said, those are the five color schemes I've discussed today. I hope that you found this information helpful. Again, if you want to start with something that's elegant but not extremely complicated, go with the monochromatic color scheme. And then an adjacent color scheme or similar color scheme will give you a little more variety. And then you can go to a triadic color scheme and then ultimately a complementary color scheme if you really want to mix and match your colors and you know really push the boundaries there. So I hope you found this video useful. Again, I'm Rishi Chalani at The Dark Knot. Please feel free to subscribe below to continue to get our videos. You know, I'm looking to create a lot more content, so you will continue to get videos from my YouTube channel. Also, what I'm going to do is provide a link to our tie collection below, because what we've done with the Dark Knot is we've gone through the deliberate plan of matching shirt colors and patterns to your tie. So you could literally search for ties based on the shirts and suits you have in your wardrobe, based on that color and pattern. So we actually take that guesswork out for you. So again, I'll have a link to that below. Hope you've enjoyed the video and I look forward to speaking to you in the next video. Thank you. So what is it that makes the Dark Knot tie so special? Well, for a start, each of our ties and accessories are exquisitely handmade with extremely luxurious material. But the Dark Knot is beyond just the items that we are selling. It's about our brand philosophy and our vision. Each of our items come presented in an elegant black gift box with gift box packaging, in addition to coming with style advice. When I launched the Dark Knot, I was concerned with truly helping gentlemen dress better. As a person that was in the corporate world for over 10 years, I often used to struggle with mixing and matching of my ties and accessories to my suits and shirts. Hence, the Dark Knot was founded. It is this philosophy that really sets us apart, as we are more about an experience than just a product. This tie is our Ashfield Abstract Navy tie, as you'll shortly see, and it comes presented in an elegant black gift box for the Edition Collection, which are our premium ties. Now, all of our ties come in similar black gift boxes. So as you will see when we open this box, you will see that this is one of our luxurious handmade silk ties made from premium silk which is a higher yarn count and it's got a beautiful navy and pink abstract slash foulard pattern. Now what would you wear this tie with? This is exactly where our style advice comes in because a lot of men struggle with mixing and matching of tie colors and patterns to their suits and shirts. So what we do with every item is we present them with a little envelope with a card in it that gives style advice so that you never leave your house mismatched again. Whether you're dressing for work, a presentation, a meeting, a wedding event, or even a date at night, we want to make sure that you are always dressed your best. So this card here comes with style advice for matching suits and shirts. As you can see, we have the name of our item listed at the top. This is our Ashfield Abstract Navy and Pink Silk Tie. And it says, pair this exquisite silk tie with a solid or striped white, blue or pink shirt and a solid striped or plaid charcoal gray, navy blue or brown suit. The pink and navy elements of this tie will perfectly complement a lighter blue or pink shirt. So there you have it, your style advice based on color and pattern so you never leave your house mismatched again. One more thing that comes with all of our ties, and again, this is part of the experience to ensure that you are always well-dressed, are these tie clips. 
Now a lot of guys out there wear tie bars, but we want these tie clips because they are more subtle and they give you that option of wearing a tie that is always fastened to your shirt without an exposed tie bar. So whether you are you know, out hitting the dance floor hard or you're washing your hands after having used the bathroom or you're trying to keep your tie in place after you've had that fat juicy steak, we want to ensure that your tie is always well fastened to your shirt. Now with these tie clips, this is a little loop that comes. It's a plastic loop and all you have to do is insert the plastic loop into the fabric loop here and the label loop at the back and you want to clip these two portions to your shirt buttons so that your tie is always firmly in place. So there you have it, an unboxing of the Dark Knot ties and I hope you join the Dark Knot family soon. Thank you.